A few simple steps to create a stunning transformation in any room in your home with our tongue and groove panelling. Adding tongue and groove panelling is a quick and easy way of giving your room a completely different look. And if you follow these simple steps, you'll have it done in no time. These are the tools you'll need for the job. Firstly, decide how high up your wall you want your panelling to go. Measure this vertical height and mark it on the wall. Cut some battens to the overall length and fix to the wall, top and bottom, and with one or two central battens if needed. If your wall is uneven, place packers behind the battens to ensure they're straight and square. Next, cut your individual lengths of panelling to the height you decided and from the corner of the wall begin to pin the panelling to the battens. It's really important that your first piece goes on exactly upright, so use your spirit level along the side edge to check that it's vertical. Continue along until the full run has been panelled. It's worth checking every fourth panel just to check that the panels are still vertical. If you find the level is running out, just give it a little tap with a hammer using an off-cut block and check again with your spirit level. When you get to the final piece, it's a good idea to join your cut piece to the preceding full width piece and fit them both together into the corner. Now for the finishing touches. Choose a suitable style of skirting board, cut it to the correct length and glue and pin it to the panelling. Don't forget to add a decorative moulding to finish off the top of the panelling. You can choose any moulding style that suits your taste. Fill and sand any little holes and it's ready to paint. Top tip, a darker paint colour on your new panelling often works well with a lighter wall colour. Don't be afraid to experiment.